you know, these days it is so easy to get overwhelmed. I mean, you hear a lot of overwhelming information on TV, newspapers, if you still read one, or go online, whatever, whatever your news source, for, for example, we get overwhelmed. We really, really do. But when it comes to keeping ahead of your bills, I'm going to try to chop that in half, take away some of the overwhelmed feeling. All right. Think about something for a second. Isn't it a lot easier instead of worrying about bills that needed to have been paid last month right now, isn't it a lot better to be able to be ahead one month? We'll start off with just one month, not talking about six months, not talking about a year, one month. Okay. And this is where it comes in handy to know your numbers. Hi, this is Jan. Welcome to another episode of the Save Money and More with Jan channel. I love helping people keep more of their own hard earned money. Could that be you? We have to look at our numbers. A lot of people like to keep their head in the sand and not look at numbers. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's usually the people that really need the help most that might, for whatever the reason, I don't know the reason, maybe just again with the overwhelm that could be. So let's try to just erase being overwhelmed. We're only going to talk about one month of bills, okay? Go with your smallest bill that you know you have to pay. Okay. And then of course, include a little extra money for the things you don't expect and you know what you need to, let's say, just live your life. Okay. And work on it somehow or another by knowing the numbers, giving it a name, create a name it and claim it savings fund. And it's all towards being ready, willing and able to have your next month stuff ready, like very, very soon, like as soon as possible. That way you're not looking back and like still paying last month's bills now. You know, that's really hard because it's just, it's really, it's just like an adjustment of timing, if you will. So look everywhere you can, find out where there are funds that you may have, maybe you forgot about. A lot of times because people are not familiar with their numbers, they don't realize, oh yeah, that's right. I do have such and such a, a fund that I could put towards this or whatever. Just try to think of one month's expenses. That's all you're thinking about. The one month's actual expenses. The only one who can answer that is you. Have to look at your stuff, write it down, take it from there. It may require earning extra income. Okay. It may may do that, but we're just talking about for one month and being ahead of the game. So we could do it. Anyone could do it. We just have to want to do it. Like anything else in life, we have to want to to do it. it take a lot of stress off of you. Then you start off with the one month and then you go forward to the next month. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate everybody's time. I uh, hope you have an amazing upcoming weekend. Get some rest. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you're interested, go to my 2 p.m. show. It's a longer form content. Have a great day.